with Leah Marie from the Mind Health Coach Program, and I'm here to help support you through this transformation that we're going through um, that's, you know, really challenging us. We're, uh, most of us are having to stay home more frequently than not. Um, we, you know, we're, we're really only supposed to go out in a lot of areas if it's a necessity for food or pharmaceutical items or for medical care. And that can be very stressful. And there's a lot of people that uh, haven't spent this much time <laughs> with their family in a long time. So this is a challenge on so many levels and not only to make sure that you are safe from the exposures of this you know, virus that's deadly, um, that's a stressor that's on our minds, but also trying to make sure that we're achieving all that we can with our work and making sure that you know our loved ones and everyone is taking care of themselves the way that they need to and taking preventative me measures, um, it, it's stressful. So uh, we are having a lot of emotions now that are kind of becoming a theme for a lot of people and there's ways to detox that. There's ways to inspire uh, the feel good stuff that we usually get from the outside things that we go and do. So now that we're kind of here, in front of our computers a lot of us working or if you're not and you're you're stressed out because you're not maybe you're not able to go to work because they've laid you off there there are still ways to take care of yourself and your emotions about this and so when we're oh i have lee wheeler waiting a minute. welcome hello uh, let me unmute you Uh, unmute. Very good. Hi, how are you, Lee? Are you unmuted? On can you hear me? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not sure if you can hear me. Okay. If you can hear me, okay. Can you give me a thumbs up? <laughs> how are you today? So I'm Leah Marie, and I'm doing this session for everybody that joins. I had about 10 people signed up, and um, you know I, I'm doing this every day so that people can inspire themselves to get through this whole transformation we're going through and overcome any emotional difficulties and struggles that you may be having. So with that being said, I'm going to do a little exercise for you. Um, we're going to do inspiring, uplifting, getting your vibration going exercise. And so it does involve a little bit of movement. So I'm going to show you the chart right here. We're going to do uh, hands to heart first. And then we're going to be doing our lifting of the arms, funneling and channeling good energy in. And this is the one I really wanted to show you because I'm limited. I can't show you with the amount of space I have on this um, camera. So you're gonna be turning to the right and exhaling, and that's what it looks like from the side. So you're gonna be putting your hand on um, your hip and then your, your other hand on your knee. And then we'll be redoing the whole sequence with hands to the sky again, which is like a V, um, and then turning the other direction and exhaling and you are put, placing one hand on the knee and the other hand on the hip. So we're gonna do that and I'm gonna lead you through that. We're gonna have some positive affirmations while we're doing this. So I want you to take your hands to your heart right now. I've got them a little higher than my heart because of the camera. And maybe if I lean back a little bit, it'll be better for me. So I'm gonna ask you to take a nice deep inhale at this point in time and inhale the thought of how it feels to be relaxed. So nice deep breath in through the nose, envisioning relaxation and exhale. Anything that's stressful, anything that's anxiety provoking, any discomfort, I want you to exhale during that space. And then you're going to inhale and lift your arms up in a V shape and you're gonna inhale calmness, balance and harmony. Calmness, balance and harmony. 
and then you'll exhale and you'll turn to the right as I told you before with your left hand on your right knee and your right hand on your right hip and you'll exhale any discomfort, any concerns that are bothering you at this time. Just exhale them out. And then you're gonna bring your hands to the sky again. And inhale, feeling safe, feeling uplifted, feeling energized, feeling supported. And then you'll exhale anything that doesn't reside with that. You're gonna exhale it out. And I want you to lift up your arms again and I want you to inhale and know that you have love and support channeling down, funneling down through your arms. It's coming in through your head and it's channeling out to all aspects of your being, this wonderful loving energy. And then you exhale gratitude as you're turning. And you're supported, you're grounded, and you're empowered. And then I'm gonna ask you to turn back to your hands at heart and just inhale. And then exhale, gratitude. So that should bring you a very uplifting feeling. We're gonna do that one more time. And I'm gonna go a little faster this time. I did it very slow and I you know, was uh, trying to describe it so that you could get used to it. But right now we're gonna take our hands back to the heart. We're gonna inhale and we're gonna inhale calmness, knowing we're safe and everything's okay. And we're gonna exhale anything that is concerning, discomfort, and then we're gonna lift our hands up and we're gonna make a funnel shape. We're gonna say, come on in, gratitude, love, uplifting feelings as we inhale. And exhale anything that's anxiety or stress or discomfort as we turn to the right. And then we inhale back up with our arms funneling in all that wonderful energy that makes us feel so uplifted. And then we exhale and we release anything that isn't serving us. And then we come back to center and we inhale gratitude. And then we exhale gratitude. And we're feeling balanced and grounded. It's as simple as that. You start to inspire that kind of stuff when you're um, doing these types of exercises. And next, I want to share with you some different essential oils that you can use during this time. You have to be careful with essential oils. Some are able to be ingested, some are not. So it's important to know which ones are um, things that you can take internally, which ones are okay for aromatherapy, and even which ones you can put on topically. So I'm going to list a few that's good for stress. So for uh, muscle soreness, I mean, excuse me, for symptoms of stress, physical symptoms of stress, you may be experiencing headaches, insomnia, irritability. You might even get muscle soreness and fatigue. That's because with stress, your cortisol levels are going up and you're um, pumping that through that endorphin is coming through and it is causing inflammation in the body. So you want to do everything you can to lower inflammation at this time if you're feeling stressed and uh, do these exercises to help combat that. You know, these exercises are bringing into our body um, the energy that's needed to inspire different endorphins that offset stress endorphins, anxiety endorphins. So we're looking to inspire things. And some people might say, oh, you know, this is just being in denial. But honestly, it's not. It's reframing. It's taking a different look at things. It's having a different perspective and also creating a mindset that supports wellness. So when you're going through tough times, um, you, you allocate time to grieve or, uh, you know, to feel and be in that emotion. You want to experience the, the emotion and find out why it's happening for you. And things like tapping, the emotional freedom technique, which I showed the other day and I'll be showing again on Saturday, that those kinds of activities can help you overcome the emotional circumstances that happen within your body and help you lower any reactive feelings that you're having emotionally. But what you want to do then is, okay, put aside that time for that piece. And, you know, it's very hard to say when you have a, a tragic situation like loss of a loved one or that sort of thing. But 
it's how you start to recover. And you have to be aware that these emotions could crop back up. You just have to re-inspire the health and healing for it. This is what this is about, self-care for health and healing. It's not about denial. It's not about you know ignoring things. It's about being realistic and moving forward safely and with wellness in mind. So the oils that uh, can help you with these physical symptoms are lavender, these symptoms of stress. Lavender is really great. Uh, lemon is really great. Now, lavender for children, it's important to know that children shouldn't be uh, putting lavender on themselves without some dilution, which could be in some oil, like not essential oil, but coconut fractionated oil or something like that. You also should check with your doctor before you use any essential oils so that you can make sure that you don't have any medication interactions. So that's important too when you're looking at essential oils. Um, bergamot is really a great oil for stress. You want to make sure that um, for topically for children, it is diluted. I try to, if it says a little warning like that, I try to stay away from any recommending any oils that are having any kind of hint of warning for children or pregnancy. Um, but they're safe for adults that aren't having any health issues that could, um, and medications that could interact with them. So geranium is good. Um, grapefruit is good. Uh, those two are also problems for children. Frankincense, uh, you shouldn't digest frankincense. It's okay to put on topically. They actually used to use it um, in the times, ancient times for beauty and uh, skin. Uh, so frankincense is a wonderful oil, but very expensive, and a child should not ingest that. Marjoram, no child or pregnancy for marjoram, and yang, yangling, excuse me, I always say that wrong, <laughs> langling, uh, no digestion, no topical usage for children, I would say for pregnancy as well. And there's some different blends that are really wonderful for topical, and um, they are joyful calming and grounding. You can find those on my website, my doTERRA link. Um, you know, I, I don't push that you need to sign up as an affiliate, affiliate or a wellness advocate, but it does help you get um, some discounted pricing. So if you'd like to get in touch with me about that, uh, email me at info at mindhealthcoach.com. Some other oils that are wonderful for emotional stress are clary sage, but if you're pregnant, you should stay away from that. Um, bergamot is not safe for children uh, internally or topically. It is okay aroma therapy wise. Um, sandalwood shouldn't be uh, ingested. Geranium, Roman chamomile shouldn't have any um, internal or topical usage for children. And the Joyful Blend is really great for emotional stress. Now, whoever's coming on the webinar, I will actually send this information out in a document. Every day when I do these, I'm kind of compiling the information. I also uh, kind of highlight the video so we can get through some of this and, and you can just have it for practices after afterwards. Um, but every day I'm kind of addressing some different topics. So it's good to try to tune in every day. So uh, mm -hmm. for mental stress, um, lavender focus blend from doTERRA is great. Grapefruit, bergamot, sandalwood, geranium, all really good helper, helpers for that. Um, and there's so much more that I can share about essential oils. Um, anxiety, cilantro is good, rose is good. You have to really make sure you know, though, what the blends are um, and what the, what the applications are topically, um, digesting internally, and then aromatherapy for each one of them. So I'll, I'll compile that list and I'll get that out to everybody who's watching. And um, I wanted to share one last thing. I wanted to share about hematite. Hematite is a stone that, a crystal that is very effective and has been used for centuries to help balance and lower stress. So hematite, according to those who believe in crystal therapy, has an energy that helps us ground and really feel safe. And it talks to our root chakra. So you can sit in meditation with hematite um, you know, you can have it placed in the palm of, I recommend your left hand if you're going to do this. 
or you can actually put it under your, at the base of your spine. You can just kind of let it rest behind you on the base of your spine. So that's why I have these little pieces that are kind of comfortable to be able to place there. Um, and you meditate with that and you just envision yourself with that energy, the energy of hematite coming in. Um, and I oftentimes will place it right, like I said, at the base of my spine in the sitting position, I'll just place it on the ground near it and I'll just ask the hematite crystal to provide me with all the energy and support that I need. So that's what we're going to do. It's um, the the whole uh, whole session here is, is actually over, but I'm going to continue and just give you this one little meditation. So if you can close your eyes and imagine that you're in front of this lake of that's so silvery and it looks like hematite. I want you to take a nice deep breath in and just enjoy this moment and envision this lake in front of you. And it's a lake that's inviting you in. It's not deep. It's not unsafe. It's actually very safe. It's a very wonderful experience to just dip your toe in and it's encouraging you. It's speaking to you. It's saying, come on in, come join me in this wonderful safe space. So when you step into the lake, I want you to envision it really cleansing you and you're stepping in and you're feeling the energy coming up. It's a, it's a beautiful grounding energy that's coming from earth and the silvery water you're stepping into that represents hematite looks just like hematite, but it's water and it's absorbing any energies that are discomfort, stress. You're detoxing into this lake. It's The lake is saying just let it release, let it go, let it be, let it, it just be absorbed by this energy of hematite, which is what you're stepping into. And now you're getting comfortable. You feel the temperature is just perfect for you and you release yourself. You release yourself and you sit down into this water that's representative of hematite. And you're sitting there and you're just feeling the, the stress and emotions that don't serve you any longer, just being released into this water source. It's drawing it away. It's just drawing you away, away from your being. And it's absorbing it. It's transmuting it. So there's no worries about it harming the lake because this is a service that it's providing to you. This hematite energy is so powerful and it's bringing you a sense of inner peace. You're feeling this grounding, you're feeling this energy that's just coming through you of healing and peace. So you can step into this lake, you can swim in this lake, you can dive into this lake, it's your lake to remove any emotions that do not serve you any longer, any anxiety, any sadness, any grief, any fear. This lake is here for you to bathe in, to transmute your emotions from negative to positive, to uplifting emotions that come in when you do the breathing and the, the exercise sequence that I just showed you. So I hope you enjoy your lake of hematite anytime you need to. And with that being said, I thank you for coming on to my emotional detoxing, holistic stress management and anxiety relief session. I hope it was helpful and you have a wonderful day. Namaste.